So I say convert. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's easier. It's easier, <laughs> a larger square when you have a big amount of data. Remember that uh, the only thing I have here is the birds, so it's a, a very small part of the of the full full data set. I mean, you can, you can try with with a region within your with a smaller size of grid. Okay, convert the grid to shape. I put uh, because because it's it's gonna be a different theme. What the name? This is what, this is what Congo. Okay. Now I ha I have the theme to check that they have it has all the data I know. I say theme. Auto label. Just to check, uh, that's the ID. The ID of. Okay. Now I want to do the, the the real query using the the grid. So go analysis, tabulate areas, and I select the values that I want in rows and the values I want in columns. For me, the rows. It will be the grids identified by the ID value. So it's the unique value for that identifies each. The, the theme on the column for me is the database of African birds. And I want the column identified by species. Yeah? Same as, the, as display because not doing anything more. Okay. And here's my table. Again, here here we have several zeros. J just to check that I have values different from zero. I have some, so it's well done. This table needs to be exported. To transform these value, these frequency values into ones. Export the limited text to Congo three. Just rem remind me this. Mm -hmm. Congo three as a text file. I go to Excel. Each column divided by a comma. Okay. Again, we want to transform these decimal values into ones. So go to the last column. Create a field that refers to, to the values I want to add there. Speech, species number three. And make a calculation in that, in that field. This equals 
is in English is count if count if we, the, 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 syn, the syntax of the commands ask me for the ran, range 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 so remember it's b2 because it's the first the first the first column that has the the values that i want two vp2 comma and then the criteria count count every cell that has a value that is bigger than zero that's a condition of my of my uh, of my calculation okay I want this copy to all the, f the, f the whole column with control click in the corner yes is everybody okay with this save please save always save <clears throat> then I come back to the GIS what I want to do now is to put together the information that I just generated in Excel with the information that characterizes this theme that is the shape so I open the table of the shape of the grid shape and I import the table that I just did in Excel is camera is Congo 3 and I have I need to have my accordion and I want to join the values I want to join the two tables based in what field? What's the field that put together both? Hmm? The ID. The ID. Is, is, the, is, the com is the common value between the two tables. So first, you push ID in the table that gives the data. And second, you push the ID in the table that gets the data and push here in join you see this this icon join it's just this it's the complicado and now you have a table that includes the values of the table that I just did in Excel. So double click, and I want to edit the, the, the way the legend is presented. For me now, it's good, graduated color. The classification field is at the very end, is the species number. Fine. But also here in this table, I can search for the presence of each of the species in my grid, right? What if I classify my, my grid depending on the presence of this, this eagle? The, on, the only square in the in the grid that has records of the of the eagle. It's okay. <coughs> Are you able to do in the GA systems you you have? I can classify in more. In more classes if I want. Yes. 
Yes. <laughs> Can we try with GPS? Hmm? <laughs> I'm working on it. So, uh, if somebody wants to try here, it's welcome. Let's do this. Get your data organized in terms of latitude, longitude, species. Work on that. I think I'm about five minutes away from having this worked out. Why, why don't we generate another, another way to present the the data on species richness based on access. I, I, I will do while, while town tries to debug the thing in other systems. I just want to show you how to generate your, your authority file. Look, what I did here, this is how I managed the, the information of, of birth from the different countries. Data sets were provided to us as flat tables divided by country. What I did first was to generate a query in which I only wanted to have data from, from a single taxon. So I go to access and I create a query from another country now, Madagascar. And I will ask about the single set of data that I want represented. The selection criteria is taxonomic. I want to add only a species that belong to class mammalia. This is mammals of Madagascar. And the other data I want to have, which data I want for managing in the GIS? I want the species, I want the class here, because this is the way I selected the, the data. What else do I need? That is the longitude. How many times I want a record of the same species in the same place? One. So I press here, say unique. The totals. So this way, I'm going to have unique combinations of species, latitude, longitude. What I also want that only data with values are, are in my list. And what's the default value for those data without your references? See, I'm giving, I'm giving another, another criteria of selection. I'm running the query. Here's my list of mammals of Madagascar. I will save this query. Program permitting. Is it, is it, it's in Spanish. Do you want to save changes to the query one? Yes. It's Madag Mam. And look, this query serves me to generate a text file that I can import into, into the GIS. I am speaking of, about things that everybody knows. Yes? Ah, so why bother? <laughs> why don't you tell me? It's good to recap. It's good to recap. Ah, okay. 
Export. I usually export to DBase. For me, it's easier for ArcView. was to do. Ah, okay. Now I want to make a query that allows me to generate dots of species richness of mammals of Madagascar based on this data. I'm going to make a different, a, a different query. Query does not, I'm querying the query. Madagascar mammals. I want the number of species for each point. So I want combinations, unique combinations of each point. 